What's up, y'all? It is a Monday morning, bright and early at about nine o'clock. We are here at the St. Louis downtown Goodwill Benz. Little cold, little rainy this morning. I actually didn't even bring my jacket though because I know we're gonna get revved up in here. Yes, revved up. I said revved up in these Goodwill bins to find some uh, retro goodies, some resale flips, and uh, hopefully some stuff for our video game collections. Let's go check it out. They didn't have all the GM bins out, so we're here in the media, looking around, trying to maybe score a VHS or a couple games, maybe. I don't know. So first bin I look through, freezing my butt off. All right, plan is to come back to the media. Uh, they finally put out some more GM uh, uh, bins, so we're gonna head on back over there. Snoopy snow cone machine looks like it has some age to it, but it's it definitely doesn't have all of its pieces, unfortunately. Oh god, okay, I'm ruining it even more. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, let's keep looking. Found us another clean Build-A-Bear plush. So that's a good little start. Yeah, seems to be in pretty good condition. We'll take it. We'll take it. That'll be like uh 10 to 12 bucks at the end of the day, probably for the majority of them. I still don't have all of the bins out either, which is kind of upsetting. They definitely have more, but not all of them are out. All right, I just pulled this uh, Logitech wireless keyboard out of here. There seems to be some more stuff that intrigues me in here. Anytime I see electronics, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Uh, e Machines, not a good brand. There's the Sony thing right here. Looks like some Sony headphones as well. Okay, this is probably a good grab. I'm gonna. Oh god. Another wireless nest. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. What is this? Uh, nothing good. Alright. I'm, I'm begging to say that that, whatever that Sony headphone was. Ooh, ooh. What's this? Mis missile Command. Okay. Okay. I'm into it. A Windows 95, 98 game? Yeah, I'm into it. I'm into it. Man, I do not remember the name of this, but it's by Play School. Ah, uh, dang. What is it? Oh, Alfie. Alfie. That's what it is. Yeah. It's yellowed, but... I don't know, maybe this could be a project. We're gonna check out the cops and see if it's worth to restore this. So random that you find stuff like this in the general merchandise booths, but these uh, these 311s are really, really clean. Uh, most new balances I do pick up. I mean, these would probably be like 25, 30 bucks, I'd have to imagine, so yeah. All right, super clean. Needs very minimal cleaning, we're happy. I feel like there needs to be like a montage of just me digging through wire piles. I don't see anything good off the bat. I see like a bunch of like car chargers and regular chargers. So maybe it's a good thing that I'm not digging through this today. Okay. We're gonna leave this. Nothing good. I always basically pull on any any RCA cable that I find and oh I find PS1. All right, we'll take it. We've really had to switch gears this morning. They still don't have every bin out that they normally do. They just brought out a closed bin. There's a bunch of people waiting around to like swarm bins. Uh, obviously like I like to get here before opening, just before opening. Um, I don't know if I've ever FOMO'd hard enough to be part of like the vulture crowd though that like wants to swoop in on a, on a new bin. I don't feel like it's that crazy, it's that wild, um, but it is what it is. We're still gonna wait for some more bins to come out before we leave here. 
I was legitimately interested in this Black & Decker leaf blower. <laughs> just don't ask, okay? But it turns out that uh, it's just full of clothes. Rest in peace. It felt heavy. I was like, it could be in there. It could be new. It could be close to new. No, just full of clothes. I'll said it once before and I'll say it again. Check your random cases. These are actually genuine Nintendo GameCube cases. So perfect for a swap. Like they're in generally good condition. Like I think there's three in here. Yeah, I'll take it. There might be more actually. Hmm. But I feel good about that. What's this? What's this? Uh, a sprocket. This is interesting. We might actually scan this real quick. Oh, there might, there's more. I would have. I would have. I would have shit the bed if that was in there. Okay, I'll take them. Always love a good swap case, and they're obviously very cheap because they're paying by the pound. This Wilson Racken doesn't look like it's very good. It's definitely not one piece there. This is something I would grab for the uh, sports store, probably. Oh, and that, yeah. And that, but what intrigued me was this. This is a brand new bin, by the way, guys. They just put this out a couple minutes ago. Uh, doesn't look like anything too good. Another brand new bin, but I saw these two skateboards. Um, if these had been like, you know, from the 90s, like Birdhouse, Toy Machine, any sort of brand like that, these would definitely be worth taking. But they're, they're like no name, very thick, very cheaply made. So, unfortunately, not a score there. But speaking of like 90s, like iconic kind of sports related stuff, I got these helmets. I overlooked them the first time, but I kind of went back and got them. Um, this Dino logo looks like it's older, so I'm going to go ahead and look it up and see if it's actually real deal. Uh, I also got this Mongoose one, which if you guys don't know, these are bike brands, Mongoose and Dino, uh, very prominent in the 90s. I rode a Mongoose when I was little. That was the exact logo that I had on my bike. So yeah, we're going to look those up and see if they're actually vintage. If they're not, they're probably not worth anything. This is an item that I've seen kind of semi-often at the, at, the, at the bins, but uh, honestly, the weight makes me think that they're not worth it. I'll throw up the comp of what it sold for. You guys tell me. I mean, this is a good, a good five pounds at least. I mean, I guess you could ship the flat rate probably, but I don't know. I just, the cost up front doesn't make it worth it in my opinion. Good game grabs, y'all. World Championship Pool 2004 complete. <laughs> Let's go. All right. <laughs> A person just over here was throwing some stuff back, and this, uh, I'll, I'll, Adolfo, Adolfo, little jacket, kind of cool. I feel like Zesty would definitely pick this up. It's got the 90s vibe. It looks like it's in okay condition. I think we're gonna snag this actually. I'm into it. Throw that in the booth. So they just rolled out another bin. I saw this. And I got excited. Uh, it's just Tiger Woods PGA Tour. Very unfortunate. So basically what's happening is they are wheeling out bins one at a time. People swarm them, get all the probably good stuff for the most part. I mean, some people might look over something, but it's just it, when they keep doing this, when they keep rolling out bins just one at a time like this it's just not good for the people who don't want to bump elbows with each other i mean it's literally like they're just waiting they're just waiting you know i said that and i just was part of it like they just rolled up a cart as i was walking by and i don't know i just picked up these poker chips because i didn't know if this was like an iconic brand or an iconic casino or what these are probably worth it. but this is what I actually eyed before they even stopped the bin. Uh, this Crate Audio, I'm not 100% sure. Like I know some audio stuff. I don't know this brand name, but the fact that it's XLR, which is the type of input that it uses, this is probably this is probably worth it. They have $30 on it at a, at a retail store. So I'm, I'm saying this is probably a good pickup and uh, maybe I'm eating crow a little bit on saying that I shouldn't be FOMOing. 
my god, the throwback. This was my very first cell phone. Oh my god, dude. The old Nokia. Oh my gosh. This is, <laughs> this is, I almost want to buy this just because. Oh my gosh. I wonder if these actually have any value. I'm actually curious. We're going to do a little research on that. Why not? Well, all I know about this weird, creepy, zombie Santa looking thing is that it's from 94. I don't know. I mean, I think it'll look good in the booth, so I'm taking it. Also, what's going to look good in the booth is this hat when it's cleaned up. We actually just got a hat washer cage thing for our washing machine, so this will be a good test run right here. All right, another new bin. They just rolled a ton out. Uh, we got some like Nancy Drew stuff. I just found a bunch of Hardy Boys books down here. Uh, kind of just trying to talk fast and, and look fast. Uh, just because, I don't know, I just want to see if I can maybe extract some value out of these new bins that just came out before everyone else does. Got ourselves an Acer monitor. Hopefully the power cable is somewhere in this wire mess. But uh, I'll, I'll show it to you guys in a second. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. You're literally just in between bins, going down the middle like you're not supposed to. <laughs> oh, trying to find some good stuff. Somebody slipping. Somebody slipping. Do you guys see it? Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And an and, and as for a coax adapter, take this quick shot as well. Heck yeah, let's go, baby. I abandoned my cart to go in. I just have a handful of stuff. I think this is a steamer. I really have no clue. Let's go find out. It's homework time. It's definitely homework time. Please, please step into my office while we do some uh, homework on all of our stuff. It's just a lot. It's just a lot. plug is the worst plug ever come on it started there we go all right cool we're good awesome now we just need to look up this model number and see if it's good i think it, this this monitor does look nicer for sure so let's go ahead and look up the model number real quick all right so it looks like just right off the bat there's a bunch of brand new like open box sort of deals going on here but i mean they're over a hundred dollars so yeah i was gonna guess like pre-owned would probably be like 60 to 80 ish uh there's one for 60 with 45 in shipping which is a little much honestly probably ship for cheaper than that oh man a bunch of open box refurbished and stuff in here okay there's another pre-owned for 76 with 13 in shipping 13 in shipping sounds a little more correct uh i think this is i think this is a w guys it's it's definitely a light monitor too so it, it i mean i yeah 60 to 70 bucks all day so unfortunately on this directional box is what it is basically directs audio to a certain way i guess i don't i don't know i'm probably just talking on my butt there are two listed none sold i think if we list it just for a little bit lower than what these guys have because other things like this have sold like there's a radial engineering one um that is listed you know so it's like i don't know we throw it up for like 30 bucks which is lower than what these guys are like 30 bucks free shipping and we'll turn offers on if we get a decent offer we'll just sell it for that this is the worst thing you can see as a reseller uh, no exact matches found for this model number uh yeah my suspicions were correct these aren't vintage i'm just gonna throw this one in the mongoose one back unfortunately hopefully somebody enjoys them though okay just wanted to touch base on these hardy boys books i looked up the dates um they are from the 90s it looks like uh we have a pretty decent collection too like there is one two three four i think we had five somewhere five somewhere maybe okay just kidding but at least we have one two three four i think we have six um oh wait is that five nope that's four either way uh these do well in the booth these do well in the booth and they're only 25 cents per inch so these will be 25 cent books right here 
turn. I know you guys were interested in the Alfie just like I was. A lot of these listings come with like accessories and that's what I was afraid of is like all the little accessories and stuff that it comes with. It came with nothing. Um, it's a little, a little scuffed up on the bottom there. I mean, it's a really cool piece. I totally remember this from my childhood. It would be perfect for the booth, but I just don't think it has any resale value as it currently sits, which is really unfortunate, but a really cool piece. All right, so on the New Balance 311s, uh, the comps were kind of all over the place, but there's one with uh, 22 with 10, 32 with 10. I mean, these are similar styles, of course, too. There's one with 10 with eight. Uh, let's see here, 45 best offer accepted, 32 best offer accepted with nine ships. So I mean, yeah, like we'll probably throw them up for just around 30 and see what happens. I always look out for portable CD players uh, from the 90s, early 2000s. Um, there's are, there are some sort of comps on this. None of them are great uh, between like 10 and 15 bucks. I just don't see it. If this was in like a lot better condition, I would probably, I'd probably grab it, but it's just, you kind of want to look for like more of the Sony's of, of this style of, uh, of, of electronics, so little uh hp branded legitimate uh, unopened zinc photo paper uh just one goes for about 12 free ship i figure that's what it would be about like 10 to 12 free ship it's so light easy to ship so why not not huge money but it's just gonna be an easy sell easy ship okay this is this is actually pretty neat it's an infrared uh transmitter to these wireless sony headphones so we actually have the power cord for this as well so it's fully complete system uh, just the headphones have sold for 10 with 12 in shipping. There's like a whole system, actually that's brand new. I'm sure, I'm sure because we have the whole system, it'll be like, I don't know, I want to say like 20 bucks probably. So I think it's a pretty good pickup, very light. Should be easy to ship, easy to list, easy to test. You know, I was going to check the comps on this Logitech keyboard, but uh, since we don't have the receiver, it's kind of, I don't know, I mean, Having the receiver is half the battle on these things, so we'll let somebody else enjoy that. Alrighty, y'all. Feels good to be out here. It really does. These uh, these cold mornings when you get in there though and you warm up, feels so good to come back out with the cold weather. Uh, Thirty-seven dollars today. I mean, listen. I feel like that's a little high for what we have, but it's deceiving how much is actually in this bin. I mean, the zapper and, and all that, the joystick are all in there. We got electronics in there with heavy AC adapters. I mean, of course the monitor, but I mean, look, the monitor alone, that's gonna be worth it. So I'm happy, I'm happy. But uh, thank you guys for hanging out today. Be on the lookout for more content this week uh, than usual. So uh, definitely a lot more bins content as well. We'll see you later. Thank you guys.